Once more, the James Webb Space Telescope has succeeded beyond the barrier of our atmosphere, floating a million miles from Earth. It gazed deep into the Alpha Centauri system and directed its intense focus on Proxima Centauri b, an exoplanet the size of Earth that orbits the star nearest to our solar system. The scientific community is in disbelief and frantically trying to figure out what it discovered. Data collected from Webb's extremely sensitive detectors over several nights revealed a startling 270% increase in visible spectrum emissions from a planet's dark side. Neither auroral displays nor natural geological activity resembled these discharges. Rather, their temporal pattern and wavelength uncannily resembled the kind of metropolitan lights present in human cities with high population densities. To put it another way, someone may be lighting a Proxima B at night. For further updates, use the like and subscribe buttons before we begin. This occurrence is the first time in history that evidence of artificial illumination on an exoplanet has been detected by an astronomy sensor. It wasn't a slow rise. It was abrupt, piercing, and continued over several of the planet's orbits. To put things in perspective, Proxima b is a tidally locked world, which means that one side is constantly facing its star and the other side is always dark as if some hidden civilization had decided to turn on the lights, or perhaps had never turned them off in the first place, that black side, which had previously been thought to be uninhabitable and frozen, suddenly sprang into luminous life. Scientists quickly ruled out well-known natural causes for the sudden brightness boost. Volcanic activity was unable to explain the emission's range or regularity. During the monitoring time, the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri which is known for its outbursts, was quiet, even though it was astounding. The only logical signal was one that resembled artificial lighting, which is consistent with the enormous population centers that, when seen from space, illuminate our own planet. Here, the scale makes a difference. A 270% growth is neither a blip nor a singular occurrence. It's the planetary equivalent of a whole continent suddenly becoming illuminated. This has mind-altering ramifications. Silence has characterized the SETI search for extraterrestrial intelligence for decades. No unambiguous message has been sent back to us after we have pointed radio telescopes toward the stars and listened across the void. However, we did not get this communication. In this civilization, people go about their daily lives without realizing or caring that they are being observed. The influx of light is information. Even if it isn't communication, Furthermore, information can be as illuminating when properly evaluated. The implications of this development for habitability are among its most intriguing features. In terms of life potential, Proxima B was thought to be a maybe until recently. It may be able to sustain liquid water because it orbits within its parent star's habitable zone. However, its far-prone sun's strong stellar radiation and tidal locking made scientists cautious. In such a world, life would be difficult, or so we believed, in addition to suggesting technological advancement. The notion that there would be infrastructure that could produce that much light also offers a solution to environmental issues that were previously thought to be game-changers. By building homes on the dark side, away from star radiation, and employing artificial lighting to mimic daylight cycles or power crops, a society may have adapted to the harsh environment. Nowadays, there is a lot of speculation in both philosophical and scientific communities. Are we witnessing an extraterrestrial representation of our planet's cities? Sparkling webs of light strewn across the surface of a planet? How old could such a civilization be? If it exists, the volume of light generated suggests a sophisticated energy system. Light pollution on Earth is caused by a variety of sources, including renewable energy systems and fossil fuels. Only a proven technological foundation could produce and maintain such power on Proxima b in the frigid temperatures of perpetual night, or fusion, nuclear energy, or some other unidentified technique. The presence of such illumination, regardless of its origin, challenges our presumptions about the location and mode of evolution of intelligent life. And then there's the intent question. Was this a planned surge? Is it possible that this civilization noticed us and chose to make its presence known in a subtle yet obvious way? Or was it a coincidence? A result of internal growth that just so happened to show up today because of growth. New building. 
or a population explosion. In any case, it marks a new phase in our knowledge of the universe. It's a world where civilization seems to flourish, not merely one where life might exist. Beyond the shock waves of philosophy, real-world issues are starting to surface. Scientists are scrambling to use other instruments to validate the observation. Although the data from the James Webb Telescope is very reliable, the conclusion would be strengthened by independent verification from sources like as the European Extremely Large Telescope, YLT, or the soon-to-be 30-meter telescope, TMT. Researchers are already analyzing the emissions using spectral analysis to look for chemical signatures, light patterns, and temporal cycles. The argument for intelligent design would be strengthened if the lighting changed in regular cycles, dimming at what would be considered night and brightening again at a corresponding day. Additionally, there is the intriguing prospect that surface features on Proxima B could be resolved in the upcoming decades. Technological developments in space-based telescopic arrays and optical interferometry may enable us to physically observe the source of this artificial illumination. For an instant, picture the first hazy glimpse of a cityscape on an alien planet, a skyline rising against the bleak, frozen side of a far-off planet. Visual proof of that sort would revolutionize not only science, but also the collective imagination of our species. This development is being closely monitored by governments and space agencies. Although the public has always been aware that we might not be alone, this is different. This is not folklore or fiction. This is information, data that is hard, cold, and astounding, and responsibility comes along with that data. How do we go about reaching a society that may not be aware of our presence? Should we make an effort to communicate, or should we just watch? Careful not to meddle in something we don't fully comprehend? Many are advocating for moderation. We cannot assume that people behind lights are amiable or even biologically compatible just because we can see them. The difference in technology could be significant. We may be witnessing the remains of a long-gone civilization, like phantoms in the night. Their automatic systems continue to function. Or perhaps we are watching them, and they are watching us. When two sentient species look at each other across 4.24 light years, the ramifications are enormous. Institutions of culture and religion are also considering the implications of this. Long-held anthropocentric beliefs about the uniqueness of life are called into question by the discovery of a civilization on Proxima b. It might reinterpret our position in the cosmos, appending the fundamental tenets of religious systems that have persisted for thousands of years. However, it also inspires humility and amazement in many people. We are a part of a greater interwoven cosmic fabric because we are not alone, and there is space for both awe and accountability in that expanse. These discoveries may soon need to be incorporated into the curricula of educational institutions. Imagine children growing up in a world where alien cities are a scientific reality rather than a conjecture. From exhibit studies to interstellar diplomacy, entire fields may develop. A multidisciplinary revolution that transforms the way we study history. Sociology, architecture, and even ethics could emerge from what started as an astronomical anomaly. At home, the public's reaction has been electrifying, theories, enthusiasm, and, of course, skepticism are all over social media. Conspiracy theories often thrive during times like these, but science communicators are able to outshine misinformation thanks to the availability of raw observational data. In an era frequently characterized by environmental crises and terrestrial warfare, the light on Proxima B is a ray of hope for many. The notion that life has not only endured but thrived in some place provides a vision of tenacity and possibly a model worth examining. In terms of technology, this moment validates the billions spent on devices such as the James Webb Telescope. The telescope, which was frequently criticized for delays and expense overruns, is now producing results that live up to its lofty goals. It's more than just a historical window. It provides a glimpse of what is possible. The next major frontier of human exploration may be found in that potential. The discovery also emphasizes how crucial it is to keep supporting interstellar missions and next-generation telescopes. Previously a speculative exercise, the possibility of sending a flyby mission to Proxima B now has actual weight. There is a revived interest in projects like Breakthrough Starshot, which aim to send minuscule probes at a fraction of the speed of light. 
The goals of exoplanet research have been essentially reframed by this light explosion. Finding livable zones and determining the composition of the atmosphere are no longer the only priorities. Currently, technical activity is a novel metric, once a specialized discipline. The hunt for techno signatures has abruptly taken center stage. Power grid emissions, industrial pollutants, and urban lighting are no longer sci fi subjects. Rather, they are actual occurrences that we need to learn how to recognize and analyze. Already, astronomers are adjusting their models. What about the thousands of other exoplanets we've identified? Could we have missed indicators on other worlds because we weren't searching for the correct things? Proxima b, a planet that was formerly thought to be hostile, is capable of supporting a civilization that produces light. The development of new search techniques is underway. Algorithms that have been trained to recognize planets as well as the minute indications of human activity. A new era of planetary recognition, not merely planetary discovery, is upon us. Many people are now curious about what will happen next as Proxima B observations continue. Will the light levels stay the same or fluctuate once more? Is it possible to identify patterns or even messages in the way the light spreads or pulses? Is it worldwide or local? Is it cities or something else we're seeing? Perhaps enormous power arrays? Or perhaps orbiting structures? A hundred additional questions arise with each response, each one more intriguing than the one before it. But for now, it's important that we witnessed it. We might have finally caught a glimpse of a response after gazing up at the sky for eons, wondering if we were alone, not with words or music, but with light. Unmistakable. Steady. Silent light. We were prepared to see a signal. Even if it wasn't intended for us, the James Webb Telescope has done more than just broaden our understanding of the cosmos. It has illuminated the way ahead. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you enjoy it. Additionally, please share your thoughts about Proxima B's light spike in the comments section below. Will aliens make their appearance soon? We would want to speak with you. I appreciate you viewing, and I hope to see you again soon.